So I saw in the news today that the beaches in Florida are still open and there's spring breakers down there. Um, you know, people are out, the restaurants are open and everyone's out there in the sand having fun at the beach. And I'm just like, really? I mean, are you for real? Like what exactly are you thinking? Come on, man. No, that's not how this works. So all these people are on the beach and they're interviewing some of these people and these kids are like, oh, you know, I'm, I don't worry if I get Corona. I'm here to have fun. Spring break, woo! And honestly, I blame the governor of Florida. I mean, shut down the beaches, guys. Really? I mean, these kids, they're stupid, right? They don't know any better. You're supposed to be the responsible adult out here. So take action. So there's a reason why I'm doing this whole social distancing thing, right? The point of this is, I mean, look, we don't have a great treatment or a vaccine against this virus, okay? We know we're all getting infected. We may not be able to sort of stop the absolute number of people who get infected, but we can slow down how it spreads, the rate it spreads, and distribute these infections over time, okay? That's the whole concept of flattening the curve, all right? So you may have seen this graphic before, right? This is two different scenarios. One is where everybody gets infected sort of at the same time, and you see this big spike in the number of people infected at the same time. So what happens? A large chunk of those people are gonna require hospitalization, right? Even though the death rate is low overall, okay, probably well under 1%, the hospitalization rate is higher than one would think. So a lot of people are getting admitted to the hospital and a lot of these people need ventilators and oxygen support, ICU care, and there's only so many ventilators and ICU beds in the nation, right? So if everybody gets sick at once, what's gonna happen? The hospitals are overwhelmed, the healthcare systems are overwhelmed. We're already overwhelmed, we don't even have masks. The CDC literally just said, if we don't have masks, use a bandana. Are you kidding me, CDC? A bandana against a killer virus? No thanks. So forget about the death rate, worry more about sort of the hospitalization rate. And for all those young folks out there, look, just because you're young and the reports are telling you, oh, only the older and sicker people die, that does not mean you're not gonna get sick. In fact, um, as of yesterday, and I say, you know, this is changing every day, these numbers, as of yesterday, uh, March 17th, the CDC reported that 20% of the people who were hospitalized were between the ages of 20 and 44. 20%, right? That's, you know, not really a small number. Now, if you can imagine, most of those patients probably got better and left the hospital, but if the system's overwhelmed, some of those people in the future may not get better and maybe even die because the hospitals can't take care of them. So this is why we are trying to do social distancing. This is why we're trying to flatten the curve. And look, this virus is very contagious and very effective. There's one study out of Germany that's not peer reviewed yet, but their data is saying that the um, concentration of the virus in the nares for um, peak concentration in COVID-19 is a thousand times more than SARS, a thousand times. Now, sure, you may be thinking, well, I'm, I'm young, I'm gonna be fine, I'm washing my hands, I, I'm not gonna come in contact with sick people, but look, when you leave your house, think about all the things that you touch. You, you, know, you get in your car, you open your car door, you touch your steering wheel, okay? maybe you grab a cup of coffee, you exchange money or credit cards with other people, okay? You're walking by and you're just walking through the store, your jacket's gonna brush against something. Maybe you're gonna pump some gas, okay? Again, you're touching multiple things when you're pumping your gas. And you're gonna go somewhere and open a door. That's a doorknob, right? You're gonna go in, maybe you're gonna order some food, maybe you're gonna get a drink, you're gonna grab other um, objects, maybe touch other surfaces. And in between all this, you know, this stuff can be transferred to your clothes even, right? So even when you come home after all this and maybe you wash your hands thoroughly, you can maybe have viral particles sitting around you. So anyway, there's a reason we're telling you to stay at home. Please stay at home. If you're not thinking about yourself, think about your loved ones, your parents, your grandparents, and other people that you may get infected. So please, spring breakers, stay the fuck home.